What up guys, in this video we're going to show you how to set up your powerlifting belt for best results and also the applications you can use it in training to get the most out of it. So when you unpack your powerlifting belt, it's going to come in your little carry bag like this and here's your elements you've got. You've got your lever, you've got your mounting plate, two hex screws and then we've got the belt itself. So we want to line up the belt, we're going to use this for Pierce who's going to be our model for the day. We've already marked out his exact spot, but all you need to do is take these two screws, put them through your back plate. It's going to give it a nice strong position so your lever doesn't twist and wreck your belt. It's going to spread the force out. We throw these, as you can see on here, we've already pre-measured this, so it made it a, for a seamless video. I just want to make sure that the logo and buckle are the same way up. So we're going to line those up. We've got a screwdriver here, and I am probably the least handy person on earth, but hopefully this will work pretty well. Straight to the Make sure we leave it on there nicely. We'll tighten that up until it's pretty tight, but you don't have to do it over tight because you will thread the screws. You get stripped the heads, which is not going to be very good for your life, your belt. And that's pretty much what you want it to look like. You want the screws to look pretty flush in there. And then you'll have your buckle and your print the same way up. Now that is ready to go. Piers is going to be our model here today and we're going to show you how you want your belt to fit so that it's not too tight, not too loose because it's meant to be a bracing tool to push out against. Piers, you want to chuck her on? So it's got it up. This is not to hold your pants up. You want it actually relatively high. It's probably going to split the middle between your pelvis and your rib cage. So you can see where it is. You lock, just lock the clips in. And when it's on there, it should be pretty tight. Like it should be pretty damn, you should be able to push out a little bit against it, like with your upper abdominals. Um, but you don't want it so tight that you basically can't, if you've got to breathe in super heavy and you put it on and you can't breathe out, the belt is a bit too tight and it's going to limit the amount of like bracing or intra-abdominal pressure that you can create, which is going to limit strength in the lifts. Now we'll show you through a couple of uh, applications how to get the most out of your belt. All right, so we've got Pierce all set up here with the deadlift bar. What we're going to do is we're gonna, he's going to walk you through the steps of sort of like grabbing, taking the slack out of the bar. That's going to re reduce the jolting and, and jarring off the floor, yanking off the floor, and really pushing into the belt. So that's going to be a tool to help make your spine not so much straighter, but stronger and keep it neutral throughout the lift. It's going to be a big, uh, typically a big weak point in the deadlift. So avoid getting a arch, McDonald's, Macca's arches back uh, and allow you to stay more strong in the lift. But swing around and let you show you let him showcase it off. He's taking the slack out. And pulling through and really pushing into the belt. So you really want to be driving your abs out and holding your breath, particularly in the up lift, and then exhaling on the down throw. Straight to the In this lift here, the belt is going to work to help keep racing so you don't fall forward in the squat. It's going to need something to push up against because what typically will happen is you, as the weight gets heavier and heavier, this is a pretty light weight for Pierce, pretty strong lift off. But as it gets heavier, it's going to put more load at the top. And it's going to help buckle him over and the belt will help you to push out again so you can stay upright and actually drive through the floor and push the weight up. All right, so in this lift, we're using the belt as a bracing tool so it can get more intra-abdominal pressure to stay static so that the upper body is staying relatively still. It's gonna help, help strengthen up the weakest point in the lift, which is that bridge in the middle of Pierce's back wheel. So otherwise, it's gonna pull extra slack and the tendency is gonna to be to bow really heavily and to yank, and it's gonna put a lot of stress on that lower back in particular. This is gonna make it a, it's not gonna support you, so strengthen your back. It's gonna make, put you into a stronger position and so you can create more intra-abdominal pressure, which is what keeps your back safe and your spine strong. When you're in between sets, what to do with your belt? The good part about a lever belt, you don't actually have to take it off. All you can do is just unsnap it. It's going to hang around your waist nice and comfortably. And then when you go to like do your set again, you can snap it back into place. That's it for this video. If you like this, hit subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more content just like this.